<laughs> yeah, Brooke goes. Brooke sleeps upside down. She hangs herself and wraps herself in mummy wrap. I'm sorry, that's called being a vampire. It's a Hawaii thing. Aloha and welcome to It's a Hawaii Thing. You got Lanai, and that's Brooke Lee. Please don't Hi. get us confused. No. Uh, every week on this show, we have a guest, and uh, today's guest. <laughs> We? Every week we have a guest? Every week we have That's a guest. That's not a true statement. We've had shows without guests, That's but it's true. okay. Yeah. Well, Obama was supposed to show up and he canceled. That's why it's the only time we didn't have a guest. Wow. Right? We're just going to lie. And you tried to book him. Okay. You know, I said that on one of my cooking shows. And I, Ruben, I didn't tell you this, but I had like 20 emails how come he didn't show up? That's terrible of him. <laughs> like they were on my side. Like I really believed me. Anyway, wow. ladies and gentlemen, joining us today, Jeff Yang. How you doing, Jeff? Uh, I'm doing great. And I, I, I guess uh, I won't quite make up for Barack Obama not showing yes, up. Yes, you will. <laughs> yes, you will. Yes, it was, no, it will. wasn't this show you, you were filling in for Barack. It wasn't this one. <laughs> not this episode. Anyway, I, I see you're a, a toy collector there. I am, although my toys are actually kind of unique. They're more... They're more uh, uh, trophies, emblems of, of various pieces of Asian pop culture that I have enjoyed uh -huh. uh, and that I want to preserve in some memory. I've got uh, over here, I've got RM, my uh, BTS bias. Hiya! <laughs> yeah. Seven. Um, and I've got the, let's see. Bruce. Uh, Bruce Lee up here. Yeah. I've got uh, Shang-Chi. Shang-Chi. Uh, you can't see it, but this is actually a little picture Who, of me wait, and my son. Who's the basketball player over on your, to, by your elbow? That, oh, uh, uh, oh uh, Lim, guy. Jeremy Lim. <laughs> is that Jeremy Lim? Yeah. That is Who Jeremy he's Lim, personal yes. friends with. Are you yeah. personal friends with Jeremy Lim? I mean, you know, it's like, uh, no, we're not. But, no. <laughs> but I've met him a bunch of times. And, bunch of uh, times. I like, like him. Bunch of times. Yes. I always liked him. His whole story was cool, man. Yeah, they made a movie about it. Yeah, yeah. it was, it was his, really cool. His story is great. And it's, it's one of the ones we were fortunate enough to capture in a little book that that's uh, above I your head right now yes tell everybody about this book <laughs> tell everybody jeff so so uh yeah well i guess uh i guess i will dive in this is a book called rise the pop history of asian america from the 90s till now that's awesome it is uh yeah it's a compendium of all the different things that really kind of shaped our world as asians growing up or coming of age in these three pivotal decades and uh, of course, I mean, I know Brooke is way too young to remember those days. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love yeah, him. right. That's why I love him. <laughs> so you, I, you put this together, you wrote this? I wrote this uh, with two close friends of mine, uh, both named Phil, actually, Phil Yu and Philip Wong. Uh -huh. Phil Yu is the blogger behind the-, the What a great name, his name's <laughs> Phil Yu. Feel you, yes. Go. Feel you. Know. You. <laughs> you know what? You know what? I gotta tell you. Whenever I, I like, I call, I'll go to the store with a friend, and then we get disconnected. Like, like I'll lose them in the store, and then I'll get them paged. I'll page them like on the over, and I'll be uh -huh. like, "Can you page somebody for me?" And tell them meet me at the front door, and they're like, "Who? Yeah, Phil, my nuts. That's the that's my <laughs> that's my name that I use." <laughs> Oh, Phil, boy. you. I'm going to use that one, too, now. It's a person. He's a real person. I love it. What a great name. I'm sorry. So He's Phil a real you. person. And, and he actually is better known by his blog moniker, if you will, Angry Asian Man. Mm -hmm. I think oh, Brooke, Brooke knows any him. connection to no, Angry none. Asian Girl? No? None. Oh, okay. Move no, on. no, no. It's a, a different family. No. Uh, you know, Asians don't all look alike, man. Nope. But, uh, <laughs> we really don't. Uh, but then there's uh, Philip Wong, our, our third musketeer, who is the guy behind the incredibly popular and influential YouTube channel, uh, Wong Fu Productions. Oh. And, yeah. So Phil, Phil has been around. He has three million subscribers. Uh, it's been around since, uh, well, the late 2000s, early 2010s, making content for video, as it were, and drawing a gigantic following. And that's kind of how we came together on the book. I mean... Uh, Brooke may remember from her grandmother telling her mm -hmm. about how I used to run a magazine called uh, A yes. Magazine. Yes. <laughs> What's a magazine? <laughs> I like magazines. I what still love it. When I, when I travel, I still buy, ma like I'll buy five magazines they for a plane ride. They predate blogs. Oh. Are those what they're, <laughs> they're like blogs, what? but they're printed on paper. It's really weird. <laughs> it's like YouTube, only it's still. Static? <laughs> uh, what? Know. 
Yeah, exactly. So what? So uh, what are you doing in chronological order of things that happen in the yeah, Asian kind community? of. I mean, well, at least we we cover three decades, right? So the 1990s uh, were my purview. That's when I I really kind of came out into the adult world and started doing stuff uh, and and really documenting what was going on with Asian America through this magazine, and then in the 20 uh, in the 2000s basically uh phil launched his blog angry asian man and did kind of the same thing except again on the wide world of the internet and then phil philip wong did kind of the same thing on youtube so we sort of had a passing of the torch across the decades but uh -huh. it gave us a great ringside seat for a lot of the ways in which the world changed over yeah. the course of those decades and the perception of asians in general yeah. in media oh, that's yeah. so awesome yeah. we got to get your other two guys on the show too yeah phil you and yeah. phil wang yeah, Phil Wang, the Phils. The Phils. <laughs> it sounds like it, it sounds like a new um, uh, a legal uh, Phil firm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, isn't it? That's a great oh, name for a legal firm. Okay. Yeah, I'll use you guys if I get a DUI. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so when, when did the book come out? Did it just come out? It literally just came out a couple of weeks ago. We've been on book tour, Congratulations. Uh, and it hit the New York Times bestseller list. So, oh, amazing! Yeah, Everything yeah, yeah. Jeff touches turns to gold. Yeah, I, that's that's not a lie. We're gonna dig more into that in just a minute. We gotta take a quick break. Jeff Yang is hanging out with us. Don't go anywhere. It's a Hawaii thing. Bringing you what matters. Viewers can receive the Star Advertiser digital full access subscription for just $9.95 per month. Go to StarAdvertiser.com and click on subscribe. Use the code AHI THING. Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing. Jeff Yang hanging out with us. Brand new book just came out. It's called Rise. Where can they get it, Jeff? You can get it at any bookstore, hopefully, near you. Uh, it's on Amazon, of course, the big A, and we've been hovering in the, uh, the bestseller list there as well. Uh, you, can, you should be able to get it pretty much um, any Barnes & Noble, I guess. Yeah. If, you know, you need to come to Hawaii and do a signing because our Barnes & Noble is really popular right now. And we like, have a lot of Asians Every time there. I go, it's just <laughs> packed with people because it's the only one left. Really? We're, we're yeah. actually the majority. Yeah. So. Yes. You would do very well here. Yeah. You know. I would be delighted if if I if if you guys uh, invite me, invite us, we will hop I'll on set a plane. you up. I'll set you up with the general manager. She's the one that um, sets up all the book signings. They're on the New York's best time, so yeah. just, they don't need to be set up. Well, but this the what the good thing about this general manager is she really, how do you say it? She takes, uh, she help you get do extra stuff. She ah. really helps you get <laughs> like you want the window. You know, that kind of stuff. Because you can't do windows in Hawaii because of the law for advertising. Oh, billboards. So, yeah, bill, yeah oh. all these little rules and law. Anyway, she's really good at doing the extra stuff. We like extra yeah. people. Extra, extra is good. stuff sounds so illegal. It does. But that's what like she she's does. she's going to get him a dime bag or something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah if you well, need some of extra, that, too. Extra. Yeah, <laughs> It's legal, so... Okay. <laughs> now, let, can you hold up the book again? How thick is this? I will. Uh, so it's 500 pages, and it's... Uh, when you actually look at it, you can see it's it's not just text. We've got uh, not just pictures, but comics and uh -huh. diagrams. And, uh, you know, basically, we want to make this as accessible as possible to people uh, because, you know, our history isn't just something which is meant to be learned. It's something that's meant to be celebrated and enjoyed. Yeah. And so, you know, we, we had some features that we actually specifically did in order to try to, like, make our world kind of open up. Uh -huh. for, for both Asian Americans and people who aren't Asian Americans. Oh, there you go. Like, take your shoes off before you go in the exactly. house. Exactly. Come on. So this that is did, uh, that something... annoys me. <laughs> you want to just clump through my house with your shoes on? Yeah. Sorry, man. I know. <laughs> but no, but like I go to my friend's house in L.A. and they're wearing their shoes. They put it on the couch and I go, wait a minute. I'm sleeping on the couch and you guys are putting your feet on the couch. I'm not sleeping at your house. Anymore. I'm going to the hotel. Wow. <laughs> That's literally like putting, <laughs> putting feet on your face. That's what it is. Right. Yeah, exactly. But um, isn't it true? You just stand in the bathroom and there's shishi all over the floor and then they wear their shoes in the house. You know, in, in most Why Asian you countries, your out? <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Probably. Some friends uh, in most Asian countries, they have like different slippers for different rooms, basically. And different that is rooms. the civilized way for sure. That is um, some next level baller yeah. MTV Cribs <laughs> kind of stuff. So, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, the, the goal here really was to bring Asian American life to life. Right. Yeah. Uh, things like those pullouts, we call them spaces. We're really inviting people into our worlds as asian americans uh they're like big illustrated pieces where we kind of annotate them so you know the things you may not know you might expect in an asian home or an asian grocery or an asian film asian american film festival 
uh, we wanted to kind of invite people in. Again, take off your shoes. Now, are you covering all <laughs> Asians in the book? Yeah, you know, all we, uh, Asians. You mean the billions and billions and billions yeah. on the it, planet? It, it, that's why. That's why it's five hundred pages. Well, no, like it, well, yeah. it's a know, lot of pages. You know, because like you know, you have the difference. Uh, well, you're doing pop culture, right? Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, so. I mean, so we we tried to uh, make it as diverse as possible, uh, which meant that we included you know a South Asian, Filipino, Southeast Asian, and of course you know and East Asians and. That meant also the three of us, all of whom are East Asian dudes, basically, yeah. two of whom were named Phil, <laughs> not exactly the most diverse uh, group <laughs> in the world. Uh, it was so because of Jeff that I found out that people from India were Asian because yes. I went to oh, his really? event. <laughs> he flew me to New York. They were giving out awards. And one of the guys that was getting an award was from India. And I was like, why is he here? And Chris Tashima, who had won an Oscar, was like, because he's Asian. I'm like, yeah. he ain't Asian. He's Indian. He's like, India's part of Asia. I'm yeah. like, when did we let them in? What? <laughs> they got their own nation. Why they got to come with us? He's like. A lot of people don't know Filipinos are Asian either. It's That's a right. whole group of people. Yeah. I was like confused. Yeah. So he like, you know, expanded my horizons. on That's awesome. The, the concept of what Asian. what uh, Filipino Asians do you have in your book as far as because uh, he's pop kind culture? of a Filipino aficionado. Yeah. So <laughs> he's there not, are he's actually not there are actually quite a lot. In fact, is there? Uh, we have an entire uh, story on the phenomenon of Filipino American DJs, right? Oh, oh Hubert's and, in there. Yeah, Hubert's in there. Yoga uh, Frog. Yeah, yoga frogs in there. The, the, the scratch pickles. Scratch pickles. Yes. yes. Oh, such a nerd. Yeah. That's awesome. Do they know that they're in there? I'm friends with them. Yeah, Do they well, know they're in there? If they don't know them, they then will. tell them for sure. I will run up. <laughs> yeah. Yoga frog is here right now. Really? He's in, in Hawaii. Hawaii? Yeah, right now. Oh. Yeah. You know, tell him that we are grand admirers of, of his and, and the whole movement, honestly. Uh, hip hop has been shaped by Filipinos in ways what? that I think yes. most people do We're not even. We're a big part of it. What? 100%. A big part and of it. it. Not, just, not just on the uh, turntable side. I mean, dance crews, so yes. many Filipinos. Wait, have let's finish this movement. thought in just a second. Yeah. All right, Jeff, don't go anywhere. It's a Hawaii thing. We'll be right back. Long's Drugs is always here for Hawaii, providing your family with their local favorites, accessible health and wellness services to keep you safe and healthy. Make Long's a part of your day. For all your money needs, Hawaiian Financial Federal Credit Union is here for you. Visit HiFiCU.com. Homeworld, locally owned and quality brands. Let us help you create your perfect home. Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing. Jeff Yang hanging out with us. You and guys we, are right, nerding out on right, yeah. Filipino. <laughs> right before the break, we're talking about Filipino Asians and how they're a big part of hip hop. Of course, if you don't know, DJ Qbert, Yoga Frog, I have they, no idea who these they were part are. of a, a crew called the Scratch Pickles, and they're really, really the ones who started I feel like scratching. You're making up all these names. I'm not. And they also. <laughs> And they had, where were they from? They're San Francisco. Oh, yeah. they also Period. chose these names because they stuck out. Um, but a lot of hip hop artists use them, and now they're huge in the technology business. They create uh, needles and turntables, and the technology is so far out there. They work for um, Q the Manongs, and yeah, work for IBM, and uh, they wow. they design uh, different uh, programs. So they're for like DJs. the Dr. Dre's of the Filipinos. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Right. Got it. Right, Jeff. Yeah, you know, I, I'll say it's like uh, moving from the content to the software to the hardware. It's like you know, Asians do that a lot. Um, but in, in this particular case, those guys really, they shaped an entire sound. You know, yeah. they, they uh, the kind of reverberations of the ways in which they made music uh, shaped not just hip hop, but like electronica. Yeah. Right. Huh. And we have, a, yeah. we have a big section on electronica, rave Huge. music. Yeah. So uh, in general, um, you know, what we tried to do was we tried to cut across all the different spaces uh, where Asian Americans either excelled or stood out in some fashion. And, and no one else. Lee, is Brooke Lee in there? And no one else knew about Brooke's it. in there somewhere. <laughs> On the timeline, the chronological timeline, probably the, the timeline first page, sure. huh? In yeah, the exactly. beginning. Wow. <laughs> wow. In the beginning when makeup was created. <laughs> wow. We're going to go Brooke there. Does not mean makeup. <laughs> what is that? Okay. Yeah. Point for Lanai. <laughs> Point for oh, Lanai. Oh, I can't wait to get this book. Can you can we order one right now? Somebody order one for me right now. I'll Venmo you. Who are we talking to? Uh, the crew that's yeah, not the listening crew, to you. The crew that's okay, listening cool. to me. Yeah. Cool. I will order one for you. Um, <laughs> 
but I, seriously, it's it's a it's kind of an, an interesting uh, time for this book to be arriving, right? Oh my yeah. god, the timing, timing! You, yeah. I'm like people do not understand this guy. Whatever he touches turns to gold. I'm not even lying. <laughs> Tell everybody else what else he's done. I mean, well, because when you started the when you started the magazine, mm. ain't nobody knew nobody was doing magazines focusing on Asian Americans <laughs> in general. Yeah, this was like the what early '90s. When it you was, started? It was the early 90s, late, it, actually 89 was uh, when we first kind of came together and tried to, to make it happen. 1990, I believe, was the, our first issue. Where, where were you yeah, living? Are you living in Hollywood? In I was in New York at the oh, time. Oh, in New York? Yeah, okay. yeah. So um, then he did A Magazine, right? Yeah, then yeah. he wrote a little book about a little unknown star named Jackie Chan that no one had ever <laughs> oh, heard <wow>. of. <laughs> right? Did an autobiography on that cat, which is yeah. like, good luck with that. Yeah. <laughs> where do you start? How do you comprise it all? Where do you condense do you, it to? Did you, do you still keep in touch with him? Uh, you know, every so often we we've gotten together. Uh, it's a little tougher because he spends most of his time, uh, you know, uh, in China. China uh, and yeah. when he's not in China, he's like big in Hollywood and stuff. Yeah, he's a huge star. <laughs> you know, I got a I got a great Jackie Chan star. So he came he comes to Hawaii because he was mm -hmm. releasing. I forget what so he was releasing something. It wasn't a movie, but you know, ca uh, Sea Life Park. Yes. You know that mm -hmm. little island in the middle where they have the. The dolphin, the dolphin show, yes. yeah. So I'm inter I'm supposed to interview him for this TV thing, and there's another Chinese uh, entertainment uh, host that's going to interview him as well. They bring me and Jackie on a boat, a little boat to the little island in the front, and then they leave, and the boat breaks down. So me and Jackie <laughs> are on this little island, you're, and everybody, you're stranded everybody with Jackie Chan on, on a little, little island, island in the middle dolphins. of a Sea World. Yes, yeah, Sea World. Wow. Uh, uh, is it called Sea World? No, sea Life it's Park. Sea Life sea Life Park. Park. But... And we're stranded on this, and he didn't speak English really that well. So, but we had maybe forty-five minutes together of a conversation. I feel so bad for him. And it, it, we, it feels like we, the shortest episode of Survivor <laughs> ever. <laughs> We had such a good time because I was just making him laugh, you know. Was, we were just hanging out, and we were, I was making him laugh because, like, can you swim? Because we might have to swim back Through with the dolphins. all of the killer whales? Because the little bus. What? It was dolphins. dolphins. <laughs> it was dolphins. Yeah. Anyways. A national incident. And he was such a nice guy. He is, he is a super nice guy. I will say, because yeah. uh, I had to spend six months kind of traveling with him. Yeah. Uh, so I, I got to see both his brighter side, his darker moments. Mm. You know, yeah. he's not always on. There are times when it's like, of course, you can kind of tell he's had a he's had a life. He's seen yeah. stuff, right? Yeah. Um, but uh, the when I actually had to sit down and, and interview him, uh, the craziest thing, and you know this if you've talked to him, is he's like most of his conversation is action right it's animated like hand animated, movement and, animated. and gestures and he'll make noises to so yeah. you know if you're sitting there recording on on a tape recorder or an audio recorder it doesn't come you, through. Can, <laughs> you try to transcribe it after it's like yeah. and then i you know it's like all this sort of noise that means nothing unless you actually can see what he's doing doing yeah hold on jeff i'm sorry we got to take a quick break we'll talk more jackie chan in a minute with jeff yang it's a hawaii thing Get your house in order. Go to HiFiCU.com and download the whole Kelly guidebook today. Since 1846, St. Louis School is where boys who want to change the world become the men who do. Visit StLouisHawaii.org. Keep the noise and heat out and the AC in with exclusive Ali'i Extreme windows from Windows Hawaii. Visit TrustWindowsHawaii.com today. Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing. Jeff Yang Hi. with us. We're talking about Jackie Chan. Now, you spent six months with him. You traveled with him. Mm -hmm. Where did you guys go? Uh, the first place I went to was uh, the, the Netherlands, actually. Yeah. Uh, I spent time with him while he was shooting in Rotterdam, uh, the, this movie that was kind of the last one he made in Hong Kong before Rush Hour, his big break oh. uh -huh. in Hollywood. And then uh, from there, uh, he went to Africa and then Eastern Europe and then back to Los Angeles, obviously, for the big Hollywood stuff. Uh, Hong Kong, I spent actually... The, the Hong Kong handover, right? The reunification. Oh, 97. Him. Wow. Yeah, yeah. And that was wild because I was supposed to go to the mainland with him since he was actually doing a concert, like singing mm. for. Oh, all that's the right. Notables, he was singing, right? yeah. Yeah. But uh, I was dumb enough to put down that I was a journalist. Uh, oh, on my no, visa you application. can't go to no, China. No, no. No. So, uh, you know, they've rejected me. They're like, right. we cannot let you in for this special moment. And Jackie's manager was like, are you crazy? Why didn't you put down you were a backup dancer? Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the roadie. Yeah. yeah. Right, exactly. I'm in charge of his towels. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm going to have to get that book, too. What's the name of the book? It's Jackie it's Chan's autobiography. I am Jackie Chan. I am name. Jackie Chan. Yeah, I think yeah, I've yeah. seen that. All yeah, right. Yeah. 
Well, that's a pretty amazing. And so is your main job, are you an, uh, a writer? Are you an, is that your thing? Yeah, you know, uh, author, uh, screenwriter. I've, pundit. I've got a bunch of different pundits. Can we say pundit? You know? Yes. Uh, you can say pundit. Uh, observer of stuff, right? There you uh, go. Yeah. Um, but, you know, right now, obviously, the book is the, the main thing since it just came out. Um, gonna be, I have another book that I'm going to be in, in pro progress on as soon as the heat comes off of this one a little bit. Uh, and, you know, maybe we can talk about that one when it comes uh, out. Yeah, yeah. I want to I want to talk to you later because I just finished my book and I need some help. Oh, I'm um, happy to do that. <laughs> is this our last segment? Yeah, but we're going to go to the, the YouTube. Yeah, we're going to go to the YouTube. Because we got to talk about Hudson. We didn't even talk oh, about yeah. Hudson. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> we can talk but, about Hudson. But we have some parting gifts. Oh, yeah, gifts. I got gifts. Okay, yeah. so we this isn't the Emmy Suites. You didn't win anything, but, but, but we're going to give you parting gifts. We're pretty close. Yeah. Okay. So you're going to get a bougie bottle. Oh. <laughs> they're called bougie bottles. Yeah, there's Thank you to bougie there's bottles. There's Hawaii water in it. We mm. got you some 88 teas which is signature. People in Japan will know about this. You can only get them here in Hawaii. A lot of hip hop artists know about 88 that too. Tees. We got you three 88 tees, different types of shirts. We got you some Hawaiian chip company, some taro Ooh. chips, <laughs> some Menehuni Max. Chocolate covered Mac nuts. Uh, and you know, for the pop culture person in you, we've got pigeonmoji.com, which has these fortune cookies and the fortunes are written in, in pigeon pigeon english in pigeon. <laughs> right yes. jeff are you a, are you a funko collector uh only uh, only selected one? once but yeah, yeah i'm down is I there got, a funko of you <laughs> yeah i got i'm gonna send you one i got my own funko get out <laughs> yeah i love it yeah look at that oh that is amazing i'm gonna send you one i'll trade you for a book Ah, uh, look at Absolutely you bartering. That. That's so Asian. <laughs> yes. So Asian. Yeah. Bargains. Yeah. So Asian. Yeah, you, you got to and you got to come. Uh, you got to come do a signing here out, out in Hawaii. I love I think, Hawaii. I, yeah. I'll be there anytime. Yes. So many Asians here, you know, and that book is gonna. I feel like you could do a pop culture uh, book crossover food tour. Yeah. That's another that's another idea that so one of the ideas um, we wanted to do is how all this food came to America. Mm -hmm. It's because a great it, idea. Yeah, yeah. Cause, you know, people have the misconception of shrimp tempura and sushi <laughs> and ramen and they don't know the true stories. We like to say Lanai's like the Cliff Clavin of Hawaii. He's I don't got know if that's a this. compliment. He's got was, all he, these... was Cliff Clavin good looking? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> who's Cliff Clavin? He was in Cheers. Oh, the guy who sat at the end of the bar? He was the yeah. mailman. You're, He's the, you're, not Norm, the other guy. Yeah. The, mailman. <laughs> the mailman. Oh, the mailman. Who always came up with useless facts about everything on the planet. Were they useless? Are my facts useless? Kinda. Oh. <laughs> I Pigeon just, emoji. I, you, you're mad because I sound smarter than you sometimes. Nope, hard to do for you. Yeah. Pigeonmoji.com. Jeff, where can people find you? What's your website and are you on social media? Uh, people can find me uh, mostly on Twitter at Original Spin, like Original okay. Sin with a P. Uh, and I mean, website wise, they can look uh, at Harper Collins. Uh, just search Harper Collins and Rise on Google, and, and you should be able to find it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you know, uh, I'm I'm incredibly excited to be talking to you guys, and I cannot wait to get out to. You're gonna come. Do have you been? Yeah, have you been to Hawaii before? Of course. Oh, yeah, you know, honestly, oh, okay. uh, loves it here. I, I love Hawaii. Uh, I I will say I spent a lot of time on the Big Island, you know, Kona side. Yeah. Uh, but I also love Oahu. Uh, anytime were, you guys want if, to. If I might, they were if thinking about maybe putting down roots. Yeah. On Moku Kiave at oh, some nice. point. You never know. Well, you're going to have to watch the rest of this uh, episode on our YouTube thank channel. Thank you, Old Polly Whiskey. You're Go getting to whiskey, too. Go our YouTube channel. Please subscribe. <laughs> Jeff whiskey Yang, thank you so much you. for joining us on the show. we got the extended version over there. We're going to swear about thank Hudson Yang. Thank you, guys, Come for, to YouTube. for coming and watching as well. It's a Hawaii thing. We'll see you next time. Bye. Welcome back to It's a Hawaii Thing. Welcome to our YouTube channel. For those of you who are visiting, please subscribe. Hit the uh, subscription button and you get the bell and all that stuff. And we'll let you know when we have new shows coming out. We're talking story with Jeff Yang. Old Pully Jeff Whiskey. Jeff Yang, I'm sorry. Old Pully Whiskeys are new. And awesome. we got you some Old Pully Whiskey. Do you drink whiskey, Jeff? He drinks it all. He's Asian. I will, yes. Uh, you know what? <laughs> uh, if, if you send it to me free, I will drink it. <laughs> Come pie. Come pie. Now, we, before we, uh, we, we went to the YouTube, you got, um, what were we talking about? Hudson. Well, Har uh, Hudson, yeah. yes. Tell everybody what's that about. That's so his son. That, yes. that is Hudson. Hudson. <laughs> tell, tell everybody what your son's doing. 
So my, my, my son, Hudson Yang, is uh, he's an actor. Uh, the reason I live in Los Angeles and not in New York anymore, actually, is because uh, when people ask, it's like, oh, it's for career reasons, just not my career. Oh, and there's my... There's That's my... also Asian. Let the dogs bark. We got plenty of dogs on our show. We have whole montages. That is my Japanese-American show. dog right there. Yeah. We should do a montage of all the dogs who've been on our show. Yeah. Seriously. Um, but uh, yeah, you know, uh, I, I migrated to L.A. because my son Hudson got cast in a television co- show called Fresh Off the Boat awesome. when he was nine years old. And he was ended he up... Was he nine? He was nine. It was oh, crazy. How many seasons yeah. did it go for? They went for six seasons, waiting for our movie. So he, so he grew up. He grew up on the show, basically. He really did. He he had his first kiss on the show. You know, he so wow. crazy. He went from now like he's in college. Oh yeah, and he's in college now. But yeah, he was he was like a tiny little nugget when he started. Show show uh, us the picture again behind you. Can you pull that off the oh, show, yeah, you and I your son? So, so everybody this is, can. This is him he was now. gigantic now. <laughs> That's. So what gene, what gene me. pool is this? Is this Korean? Is this Chinese? He looks Korean. You look Chinese. What is happening? Oh. I don't know. It's like some sort of buried, like uh, recessive Titan Yao gene Ming or type stitch. Because <laughs> right. you guys are what? You guys <laughs> Yao are, Ming. You guys are Chinese, right? Is that what it is? Uh, Taiwanese. Yeah, yeah. Taiwanese. Um, Taiwanese. That's right. Because yeah. you were going to send him to Taiwan, and then the whole yeah. pandemic hit. But um, you know, maybe maybe that's his real dad. Just kidding. <laughs> I'm not hating on Jeremy. Him. Yes, go ask him for some uh, back child support. Not hating on him. Not hating on him. We'll give him some of that insanity money. Just kidding. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. No, but uh, you know, it it was kind of great. I mean, it was the first show uh, to really break through with a, an Asian American cast and yeah. stick and stick. Yeah, yeah. for yeah. six seasons, not it's not shabby and. Uh, in a lot of ways, it actually made uh, possible the big pivot in pop culture that we saw over the last, you know, just five or six years. I mean, the, the people who who were in that show, I mean, especially the adult people like Constance yeah. Wu, Randall yeah. Park, they really just went on to carve out entirely new uh, worlds, right? Constance yeah. was the star of Crazy Rich Asians. Right. Uh, Randall did a, a fantastic, hilarious movie on Netflix with Ali Wong called mm. Always Be My Maybe. Such a good movie. And, and now he's uh, he's everywhere. I mean, uh, and it also the uh, producers and writers and so on and so forth behind the show, uh, Nanach Khan went on to create Doogie Kanaloa, right? right. Yes. Right. So, you know, we, we have that going. Uh, Melvin Marr, uh, he has done like a half dozen shows. He, you know Joe Coy's new show? Yeah, yeah. Melvin's. A, a pilot, yeah. right? Uh, Joseph, that's yeah. also Melvin's. So I, we started to see a little bit of like a, an explosion of growth in Asian Americans in entertainment and media coming out of Fresh Off the Boat. And it was just really amazing to be a part of it and to be able to watch and it. And he became a show dad. Yeah, I bet you. I, you had to be there every like day, didn't moms, you? Like pageant moms, but like yes, a show like dad. Because he, because he was underage. Was it you that was at the set every day, or mom? It was or? mostly me because uh, yeah. I had I had a job as a writer that I could do remotely. Uh, so yeah, if if pageant moms were adjusting tiaras, I was like uh, getting his his giant, you know. Asian equivalent of an afro <laughs> in exactly. and, yeah. uh, feeding him when he was hungry and so forth but at the same time I mean because I you know i had been a part of that world uh, it was fascinating simply to just be able to you know talk with and watch as the minds and talents intermeshed around this thing and uh, understand that there was history being made you know, it's, it's rare when you see history being made, you know, it's being made. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 But that was definitely. And then it took for it to be your son, because like I was telling mm. them during the lunch, I was like, Hudson wasn't like a Jean Benet Ramsey. Like he wasn't like auditioning yeah, what did he on do? Broadway he, and yeah. he didn't have an agent and he wasn't like, you know, here's my eight by ten and I'm going to audition for everything. How did it ha- how did it happen? It was actually kind of wild. Uh, he came home from school one day. He was actually only eight at the time. And he announced that he wanted to be on TV. And I was like, all right, good luck, kid. <laughs> uh, but, uh, you know, I mean, I was a TV writer. At the, I mean, I wrote about TV. I was a critic and, and uh, you know, kind of culture writer. And I knew people who were doing stuff like auditions and whatnot. And so I, I gave in to his, uh, his pronouncement. I mean, later I, I would find out that he was trying to be a big guy, you know, be a little popular with uh, a certain girl in class uh, <laughs> who was already doing like, commercials and stuff. I actually did not pay off. You know why? Because when you're trying to impress a girl, mm. don't overshoot. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. It's like you know, you don't you don't say, oh, you know, she's doing commercials. I'm going to audition and then end up on a network TV show because then that girl's like, I'm never talking to you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure they're friends now. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> it was more of the wah wah wah, honestly. Yeah. But it's all good. I mean, not all good. It was it's it it did launch Hudson. Oh, so the story actually continues, right? So I, I brought him to this audition. Uh, he didn't know what he was doing. We didn't know what was going on. Uh, but he actually had auditioned not for the role of the role of, of Eddie, the lead kid. Uh, he auditioned for the middle kid, which is a, a bit of a smaller role. But he was nine, and that was the age that the middle kid was supposed to be. Uh, and then I got this direct message on Twitter, actually, from Eddie Huang, who was the writer of the book that the, yeah. the show was based on. And he was like, yo, did your son just try out for my TV show? <laughs> And I was like, what do you mean? Because they actually obscured the names and everything. So we didn't. Wait, how did you know? Before. You knew Eddie before the yeah, show? Yeah, because I, I interviewed him first. Yeah, I mean, because uh, he's in the zeitgeist. Yeah, yeah. He in the world. Asian. Now, now Eddie's in New York, right, too? I think he might be in Taiwan now. He's oh, like, but I mean, he started he was his in, New York whole thing, yeah, yeah. in New York. At the right? time, okay. he was in New York. Yeah, and yeah. then all the Asians in New York, like Hawaii, <laughs> yeah. kind of all kind of know each other, just yeah. like in Hollywood, because there's we have such far a small fewer group. of them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, yeah. and yeah. if you if you have any kind of a name that's been in bold anywhere, then you probably have have some kind of connection. Uh, but in this particular case, it's because my son was just like during the audition. Apparently, it was just you know. He was uh, talking back to the producers. He's like, "Oh yeah, my dad. You know, he writes for the Wall Street Journal and stuff like that." It was pretty obvious that uh, that he didn't had never done an audition before, but also had this kind of level of swag yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, about yeah. it. Uh, and so Eddie was just like, "You know, uh, this is going to sound weird, but I'd really like to bring your kid out for another audition, not for this role, but actually for me." Right, just a wild card, and uh, I was like, "That's crazy." I mean, that's supposed to be a twelve-year-old, and he's never acted yeah. before. But he did, and we then uh, a couple weeks later got asked to fly out to Los Angeles. They had this crazy, almost like reality TV thing. Callback situation with all well, these. Yes, it was like five kids for each of the different roles, and every hour they would let go one set of kids. Right, <laughs> five, four, three, two. May the bit, may the odds be ever. Yeah, ever. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It was wild. Uh, but at the end, it was it was Hudson and. Uh, Forrest Wheeler and Ian Chen, the, those are the three boys, and then Randall and Constance came in, and they read as a family for the first time, and it was obvious that this was something special. So, so that was how it all began. And uh, I mean, awesome. to this day, I, it's like I don't know what kind of combination of weird things, like mystical things, uh, allowed that to happen, but it did. And here yeah, we are. Yeah, I, I watched it all unfold on Facebook because Jeff yeah. and I've been friends forever, and it was like, I mean, they're a New York family. I mean, like. East Coast Asian through and yeah. through. And then it was like, you know, the hillbillies, like, you know, Hollywood hillbillies. Suddenly these New Yorkers, right, are getting on a plane and they're like, we're moving to LA. And we're like, what? Exactly. <laughs> oh, that's classic. All of his trials and tribulations as he's going, you know, trying to maneuver through the space in Hollywood and like find a place to live and where do I put my other son? And I'm on set all day and what is happening? And Hudson needs to go to all these programs mirrors and that's just, awesome so was, what, what is he 18 now no uh, he is eight, he is 18, 18? Now, actually 18 yeah now? what's he uh, what's he doing now he's a freshman at harvard uh although harvard he, uh, yeah uh it's a you know it's a good school <laughs> and, uh, yeah. it's I. yeah it's I. it's not manoa but uh, <laughs> but no yeah. he He's having. A, he had a great time first semester. Was having a great time this semester. Um, he has to take a little bit of time off because we're shooting a show. Actually, in fact, uh, you're gonna like this, Brooke. So uh, it, it actually, both of you guys. It's a, it's a food show. We we developed wow. uh, a an unscripted food show uh, called Order Up mm -hmm. that uh, is gonna take Hudson first across the country. Uh, we're gonna be shooting in L.A. of course, and then Houston and New Orleans, and then we're going to Singapore for a month. And, wow. uh, yeah, we'll we'll see some friends in common. You gotta sure stop there. in Hawaii. <laughs> and who's and who's where is this gonna be landing on? It's landing. Okay, the co the production uh, network or streaming platform is a platform called Insight TV, uh -huh. and they are actually based in Europe and have coverage uh, out there uh, on linear TV. But we will have North American rights. So holy we're, moly! Good yeah, we're you. not we're not sure where it's gonna land here in U.S. Canada. Right. Um, but it's it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, Hudson is going to be it, the whole show's premise is about failure, <laughs> but actually celebrating failure. And and what I mean by that is, uh, 
he's getting at every stop of the way he goes to different restaurants and gets a series of challenges mm -hmm. until he's no longer able to succeed right like cooking ah. kitchen challenges with the idea that most cooking shows are about how failure is something to either mock or laugh at like gordon right. ramsay right but we yeah. think that failure is important to learn right yeah. so getting to the point where you've hit failure and then having somebody teach you what to do right mm -hmm. is is important uh and we'll also just be eating a ton of food and, and seeing a lot of really cool They're kind traveling. of yeah yeah that's the best job in the world that's my job i nice. love it yeah <laughs> well thank you so much for joining us jeff I Thank wish we you. had more time to talk, but you got to come to Hawaii and yeah, we'll we gotta, come on this to come in the studio. We got to get your show here. So yeah. what do we yeah. got to do to get you guys on the list? Come on, bring that show out this way. A lot of food here. Yeah, you're stopping. If you're coming to Singapore, to, yeah, you might as well stop La. in Hawaii Singapore and La. shoot a few days. <laughs> I can help Not you put idea. all that together. Yeah, yeah, because uh, he I'll does food to tours here and all of yeah. that stuff. So and we'll, we'll get him on. We'll get him on the cooking show too. Oh yeah, you're yeah, on the cooking show. Absolutely. Well, go get Jeff's book, you guys. Hold it up for us again, Jeff. It's called Rise. You can get it at Borders um, or get it on Amazon. Um, good job. Congratulations Thanks on all your success. Thanks for coming on the show. Yes. Thank you. Thank and, you. Love and, you guys. We'd love to get Hudson on at some yeah. point. To talk to his people. Get us his people. And and well, tell I'm Eddie I'm a big fan. <laughs> Eddie, we, we should, yeah, we should get Eddie on the show, too. Okay. I can yeah. I can pass that message along, too. Oh, yeah. Either way, He's though, awesome. Man. He's got a good Rolodex. <laughs> <laughs> he know people. Yeah. He's going to be our show dad. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. All right, go visit Jeff Yang. What what is your uh, Twitter again and your social it's media? It's original spin. Uh, original on spin. Twitter and Instagram in most places. So look. For All me. right, congratulations, Thanks, Jeff. Jeff. Thank you guys for Thanks. watching. Hey, Bye. don't forget Bye, to Brooke. pick up our eighty eight T's. Uh, you can get our new T shirts. It's a Hawaii thing. Our collab with eighty eight T's. We have this this one, and then we also have the one of this is this is me and Brooke, by the way. Is this it? is our Whoa. new 88Ts. I, I love I it. Go ahead and get on one on our uh, website or go to 88Ts. Okay, Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Ahui ho. See ya.